Coco in the Community is sponsored by Scandinavian Designs. Modern style for every budget. Well, tomorrow night in the Bindery, that's in the Highlands, they're hosting a special wine dinner to help raise funds for healing ALS. They work to educate the public about ALS reversals and protocols that can slow, stop, and reverse the progression of ALS. Well, with us this morning, Bindery Executive Chef Jaime Racinos, and from Denver Wine Merchant, we've got Sally and Steven. Good morning to you guys. Good I'm so morning. happy you guys Hi. are here. Thank you for having us. Well, this is a lovely spread. So I'm going to start with you, Chef Jaime. What's the most, what, tell me about the bindery. It's an all day eatery. That means you are a very busy chef, but how do you manage the menu? Tell me about this place. Well, uh, we have a talented team that, you know, uh -huh. we have, uh, everyone knows what they're doing and we switch the menu from breakfast to lunch and then happy hour and then dinner. Wow. So it's like a fast paced uh, mm -hmm. kitchen, you know, like you switch in every menu. Yeah. Everyone comes in and, you know, like I said, every well, chef that we have is very talented. They're very talented. So. You definitely have to have talent in there. What do you think is the most important thing to you when it comes to cooking? Well, for me, it's uh, ingredients. Okay. If you have really good ingredients, fresh ingredients, mm -hmm. uh, you'll have like a great meal. And also to see, you know, like your guests, how happy they get after having a good <laughs> meal. Oh so yeah. It's it's very rewarding for you know chefs that we have in the kitchen that they do a good job. Well, good food is the way to anybody's heart. That's for sure. Yes. Well, Sally, let's chat with you a little bit because I know you are a wine expert, so that should be very exciting. Let's talk about what is the most exciting as the bindery being a place to not just eat, but also drink. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously great food and great wine. We're partial to Italian food as well. Uh, yes. Uh, having worked at Italian restaurants before. Um, we love that it's female owned, independently operated and owned. Oh, that's and great. The best thing is it's one of the best spaces in Denver. It's just mm -hmm. the vibe is welcoming and comforting. Well, I can't wait to go there. Now, tomorrow is the day that we should all go out mm -hmm. there because they have a special dinner at the Bindery. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Um, so we're featuring Vincent Winery. That's a really small independently owned winery in Oregon. Mm -hmm. um, so there's actually gonna be six courses, six wines. There's Lovely. three of them right here. Um, and we're partnering with the restaurant, so anyone who enjoys the wine is able to buy the wine through us yeah. um, from the retail store. And then we also have two charities. Um, we're splitting the proceeds with Healing ALS, which you've already mentioned, and also her ALS story. Okay. Um, so that one is focusing on raising awareness that ALS can affect anyone, any age, mm -hmm. um, and especially young women. It really can, and mm -hmm. that is the importance of this event tomorrow. Now, Stephen, can you share mm -hmm. some of the personal story that you were talking about? Yeah, um, so Sally was diagnosed about three years ago mm -hmm. with ALS. At the time, we were both in restaurants in Manhattan. Okay. Um, and actually, it was the pandemic that gave us the opportunity to move to Colorado um, and buy our own wine store. And so we've been running it for two years here. Um, she's really focused on alternative treatments. Um, we found what is there what is already approved and now sure. like is is just not that effective um we've we've had a lot more success since we moved here and uh, focused on alternative treatments and had our own store to kind yeah. of brighten our spirits that is than, wonderful yeah. and, and thank you for sharing that story because it's so motivating <laughs> and i'm so glad that you've been able to do so many positive things because that is a really good message to maybe people out there that are struggling through that situation so mm -hmm. kudos to the both of you now on to tomorrow night because it's going to be a ton of fun so chef jaime what's on the menu and what have you brought today? so well tomorrow this is just a uh, uh and the muse that we're having on the menu, which uh, is a uh, crab slider. Oh, and yum. So, and it's like old ingredients from Oregon. They are paired with uh, Oregon wines. Okay. Uh, so the sliders are fresh made buns also in the restaurant at the bakery. Those are some the good looking buns. I mean, they look very, very tasty. So we have a uh, Dungeness crab. Okay. Uh, some peaches, uh, mm. onions, and uh, cilantro. There's just gonna be a mix for a tiny bite 
there's going to be paired with the uh, Oregon wines. It, the tiny bites that are so delicious in your mouth. I love that feeling. The combination of cilantro and onion in a bun, I have to tell you that I have not tried that before. What does that taste like? Well, it's, you know, like I, like I said, you know, like ingredients, That's fresh, and, and it's like, they taste way different, you know, like uh -huh. buying from a can or, or absolutely. So and is this something that people can taste tomorrow night? They can they taste it tomorrow event? at the event. So mm -hmm. we have uh, our buns okay. toasted. So how do people get tickets, Chef? If they say they I want to go to that, they can go at the BinderyDenver.com okay. and make a reservation for tomorrow. So there's okay. still uh, available seats, so okay. they can sign up for it. So. The Dungeness crab also from Oregon. Okay, look at that. And that looks just as delicious too, Some okay. Lemon aioli. Mm-hmm. So you got that in the mix as well. Yeah. Is this gonna be tangy? What's this the is gonna be tangy. Gonna the uh, peaches that we have, they're kind of like a bit sour okay. and sweet. So uh, with the uh, onions, mm -hmm. peaches. Love that combo right there. And cilantro okay. and a squeeze of lemon. And that goes in the bun. And this goes in the bun. Fabulous bites. So. And as you continue doing that, Chef, I want to give everyone some info on how you can attend tomorrow night. And remember, at the end of the day, it's for a good cause. Enjoy the bindery throughout the day and consider it for your next event. Get tickets for tomorrow's special dinner that will raise funds for Healing ALS. To learn more and to get those tickets, go to thebinderydenver.com.